Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on April 9th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, and disaster alerts from around the world. Keeping you aware and prepared. Starting out here, looking at our almighty sun. Watching departing sunspot. Still kind of active, as you can see it spurting out. Hey, look at that. That is about a B-class flare, luckily not Earth-directed. That is outgoing. Pretty active sunspot. And there's something happening on the backside, and we're going to be watching it coming in on the southwestern limb here. Watching a small sunspot forming. Plasma filaments around it. Also observing a diminishing coronal hole as it was trying to stretch north there. Has since dissipated. Much love to all of the new family members. Thanks for joining Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. I'm happy that you have subscribed. I appreciate your viewership. Much love to you all. Thanks again. Just observing the outgoing sunspot here and the diminishing coronal hole. As well, we'll be looking at the real-time solar wind as we did have a spike up to just over 500 kilometers per second. About 502 kilometers per second to be more precise. And we're at a steady stream now at about 380 kilometers per second. Looking here at our magnetospheric plot, wind speed, you can see things have calmed down. A little release there. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours. Most recently, being here in the Tonga region, 5.0, or sorry, New Zealand. That's right, Raul Island, New Zealand, 5.0. And as well, a 5.1 here, Mid-Atlantic Ridge today. 10 kilometer depth. Easter Island with a 5.0, 10 kilometer depth. And that's on both sides of an active South America as they had two pretty deep earthquakes today. One in Argentina, San Antonio, and as well in Chile. Both pretty deep earthquakes. And then some deep earthquakes through Central America as well. Costa Rica with a 10 kilometer depth. El Salvador with an 81 kilometer depth. Pretty shallow quakes and aftershocks continuing in Idaho. Quiet along the Western Pacific Plate, Philippine Plate. Most recent here, Eurasian Plate, 4.3, 125 kilometer depth in Tajik uh, Tajikistan. That's right. So yeah, we're going to have a look here at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. We really need to keep an eye on the North American plate here. As you can see, there's kind of a trend happening right now. And that's deep earthquakes everywhere. Except for North America and the Eurasia plate line. You can see here concentrated Tonga. South America. Central America. And as well... Alaska, but over the North American plate, it's all shallow rumbles compared to everywhere else. So North American plate is quiet right now compared to the last 14 days per se, and as well as so is the European plate. So stay aware and prepared North American plate and Eurasia and my friends and family from around the world. Just have a plan and be ready for anything. Two weeks worth of food, generator, whatever else you need. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here. 
most recently updated volcanoes de Kono in Indonesia, Nevado de Rules, Ibu in Indonesia, Era in Japan, Shevluch in Russia, big eruption there, uh, Popo in Mexico, Sabancaya in Peru, Asosan in Japan, Kulchevskoy in Russia, And that's all in the last eight hours. So that's at least 10 volcanoes a day that have been get, getting updated each day for the last few days. Overlooking extreme weather here, watching Northern California as this deep lower level low seems to just get locked in the coast and will in the Bay Area as it moves south southeast, bringing a lot of rain and snow to the higher elevations, California. And if anybody was on the live stream last night, we were observing the tornado threats that went across the United States last night through Tennessee and West Virginia and Ohio. What a great stream. I want to thank everybody that was in there. We had so much fun and I appreciate everyone that got in there and as well donations. I appreciate the love. Thanks so much. And then watching over Western Canada and Northwestern United States, as we have quite a system coming in and a high pressure ridge behind it coming from the north. So things are about to change drastically here in Alberta yet again, just as I'm looking outside today and it's sunny and it's supposed to be 10 degrees Celsius. Overlooking Africa, satellite imagery showing some pretty sizable supercells throughout the night last night. Watch for reports of heavy downpours and across South America as well. And watching Central America, Mexico, extreme heat moving into the Gulf of Mexico. So stay aware and prepared. That superstorm is still kind of on the doorstep here. Looking at the five day forecast brought to you by Media Earth, Media Mike, showing here. Friday into Saturday, we're going to be receiving at least 5 to 10 centimeters of snow and cold temperatures after the snowstorm yet again. See, you can see this high pressure ridge locked in and being fueled by a large low pressure system at the North Pole. Strong high pressure ridge locked in over Greenland as well. And these are like gears right now, and they're fueling the intensity and the velocity of these low pressure systems and high pressure. You can see five day forecast still showing quite a storm for eastern United States and up into eastern Canada. Overlooking Europe, cooler temperatures later in the week as a low comes in from Iceland, and then another low develops here just west of Spain. Across northern Russia, Siberia. Watching low after low. Just kind of get locked and spun around there. In the Barren Strait. Very interesting times indeed. Much love to you all and God bless. I appreciate you all watching. Overlooking Thailand, do have some relief here as some rain is set to sweep straight across Thailand in the five day forecast. A little bit of relief there, Mr. Cassidy, my friend. Stay safe out there, breathe easy. Overlooking Australia, Northern Territory and Northwestern, watch for rain. Not too much for extreme weather to talk about there pretty seasonal so far, except for the cooler temperatures in southeastern Australia. We'll be talking more about that soon. Also watching a vigorous low pressure system affect New Zealand in the five day forecast. Now that could change in the next couple of days and the eye of that storm could head straight to New Zealand. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that and as well watching the life here of Cyclone Herald. So five day forecast shows it still hanging around and heading eastward. 
I think we're going to see a lot of hurricanes slash cyclones, typhoons acting very strange this season. Stay aware, prepared, leave you here. Looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern hemisphere. Much love to you all. Thanks again for watching. And I'm live right now. If you want to come tune in, I'll give you a specific weather. Outlook. Satellite imagery live as well. Earthquakes, disaster alerts. Thanks for watching. Much love to you all. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash that like button. And maybe share. Get in the comments section and say hi. It really helps to promote the channel. Thanks again. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.